It's all good. My first guest tonight is an animal expert from Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land in Allenwood, Pennsylvania. Please welcome Clyde Peeling. Clyde! Yeah. Good to be here. Have a seat. It's nice you brought rats with you. That's always... <laughs> Actually, these aren't rats. <laughs> they're, they're marsupials, and they're the only marsupials found in North America and South America. They're called opossums, of course, and these are juveniles. I... Sure. Uh, let's... They're very friendly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you do? They just climb everywhere? Yep. Okay, that's nice. Ah, uh, oh, yes. To drink the blood from my neck. <laughs> that's always nice. They have a prehensile nice. tail, and they also has, have a posable thumb. All right, I'm here. seeing all kinds of stuff <laughs> I didn't ask to see. You, know you animal you... pervert, you. <laughs> Check out its ass. Well, let me give Thanks, you some Clyde. More perversion. When, they, uh, when they're born, they're very small. Wait, it's this animal is eating the mayonnaise out of my hair. <laughs> what keeps they it puffy. They climb into a pouch when they're first Who born. Who climbs into a pouch? The I babies. Wasn't the babies climb and into a pouch. And there are 13 nipples, but there's usually more than 13 offspring. Somebody Look at the face he's making out. when he talks about the 13 nipples. Did you see that? He was like, there are 13 nipples. I uh, wanted you to Think know. of the cone in the world. 13 nipples. <laughs> And only I, Clyde Peeling, may go there. <laughs> so one animal has to, doesn't make it. Why would uh, nature make 14 animals and 13 nipples? That's, that's not right. That's Darwinian evolution in the purest nature, sense. Nature, I despise you. <laughs> but this is animal cool. is just hanging out up here. I'm like a weird, demented pirate. I think he likes it. Arr! Me parrot went away, so I got a rat. <laughs> All right, uh, we should probably, uh, okay. should we move on at some point? Let's uh, move on and... Uh, You're going to leave this? Can we just leave this here for now? Let's leave him out here, sure. We'll just move this guy over a little bit and... Uh, yeah, just shove him anywhere. You play air hockey with Here's these things, do Here's a little animal that comes oh, from Africa. It's guy. called a uh, pygmy uh, hedgehog. What? Here's oh. another one. And the way they protect oh, themselves, they have these sharp spines, very similar to a porcupine. Right. And they... Oh, wait, what did, you, what, what did it just do? Well, when they get frightened, they coil up in a ball and... It, it's hiccuping. Right. I have an uncle that coils up in a ball and hiccups, but uh, <laughs> for very different reasons. What, uh, listen, to, listen to that, listen. Is that is so cool? And is that that's because it's scared right now? I think he's frightened. Yeah. It just realized what show it was on. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that guy. Um, um, when they, when uh, they're born, these spines are very soft, but they harden up after a period of time, and uh, they provide excellent protection. You can imagine, for example, a snake trying to swallow something like this. It would be very difficult indeed. Right, it would be up all night, like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Not a good idea. Note to self. Right. No more round, sharp, hiccuping animals. Uh, what are you, you're just shoving them into each other. Well, okay, that's no, nice. I'm just oh, to keep them on the table. All right, oh well. Uh, very nice. Should we, uh, okay. well, is this one okay with these two? What is he thinking? <laughs> You're the animal expert. I think one of us, you're wearing this thing. Okay, it seems to be fine. Here's oh a, a We should take of some of these away, okay? Baby, uh, Don't you think? These are African lion cubs, and they were, they Hold on, were let's born just try July and 4th. Here. And if you want to hold one, Conan, I think we can Wait, get... Wait, this, this one's about to eat okay. the rat. Okay. Let's try and get some order here, shall we? All right, just, you know what's sad? Those people don't even work for you, do they? Those were audience members that came in and whisked these animals. You know, you forgot one, by the way. Forget you, you it. You want to try to feed the... Uh, yeah, I'll try and feed this one while... I don't want that one to fall course, off the table, these too. Animals, uh, live in hey, wait a minute, what, what is this animal drinking? What is this... Look at that. It's a formula. It's, it's purple. A... Yeah. All right, just drink. I don't just... know. Okay. These came from Catoctin Mountain Zoo, by the way, in Thurmont, what? Maryland. And... Exactly three weeks old today. Right, they're three weeks old. That's amazing. These they're so are, of cute. course, at the top of the uh, food chain. They're, they're predators that grow to immense size. I like how in this really cute shot we see the rat's butt. You know, <laughs> it's like ah, oh, ugh, ah, oh, ugh. Oh, sorry, I just got milk all over this one's forehead. It's okay. Mm, oh. Talking to it. <laughs> it could care less. Now, how long before uh, these animals become big enough to destroy both of us? Uh, uh, a year from now, they're going to be a real handful. You'll have to come back. 
Uh, all right. Well, maybe we should. Should we move on? Is it sure, okay? We should probably move that. on. To, I love we this. We have to get everything off the set because of this next animal. Oh my God! Uh, another predator. A blue whale is coming out. <laughs> it's gonna be. F okay, it's stuck. I'm actually stuck to this guy right here. I want to just detach. Oh. Let go of the nice man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's. Oh, nice. Thank you. Huh? This animal nice comes from uh, Georgia Southern University. And it's called a Harris Hawk. I dare you to drink this. Right. Will you Conan, drink this right now? And put this glove on. Drink this. Are you going to drink this right what now? Happened to Just our have glove? a sip. Would you have a sip of this right now to prove that it's safe? <laughs> I will not. <laughs> what All happened right. to our glove? A glove? There's a glove Somebody? right here. Oh, great. Is this okay. it? What, what do I do now? Put the glove on. Okay. I'll put the goop on the glove. <laughs> this is some kind of weird sex thing, isn't it? <laughs> <All right. laughs> when someone says, get some glove and some goop, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> well, sorry. I uh, want to. Working okay. blue here. Oh, what is this you're putting on my hand? I'm putting some uh, ground up uh, fowl. <laughs> like a, gra a ground up bird? Yes. Okay, so you, you decide which animal should be on the air and you feed the other one into a food processor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold your hand now. Nice. You win and, today. And Amanda. Will... Wait, what, what do I do now? Oh, here's Amanda. Hey, hi, Amanda. How you doing? <laughs> It's your old friend Amanda. Uh, I don't okay. know her. Do you want to hold her? Yes, you do. What are you implying? <laughs> All right, so. Uh, uh, what do I do? I hold this out, and then well, how do I get, how do I you signal want, the bird? You want a whistle? Um tai chao nita! Ai tong! Pra bunga! What do I do? Do I whistle? Huh? 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 Ah. Uh. <laughs> you better be a falconer. This I just, bird is... I just it. wet myself. <laughs> Coming this way. Why are all the birds showing us their... Okay, I'm going to turn it around. So it's really quite beautiful. That was amazing. It's beautiful and very intelligent. Uh, this is one of the more intelligent raptors. And uh, they live in uh, the southwestern United States. Silence! In desert country. Or I will set my bird upon you. <laughs> it's very cool to walk around with this. This oh, is great. Neat. Yeah. They're beautiful I feel birds. really powerful. If I could get the rat back on my shoulder in this, I'd be... I, no one would mess with me I, on the Upper West Side. This? Yeah, and carry my purple <laughs> bottle around. Anything we need to know before we go? Yeah, these things uh, will uh, stand on a very high perch and look for prey, and sometimes they'll actually stack themselves two, three, four birds high, one on top of the sort other. Sort of like the Three Stooges That's did. That's right. When they're appearing around a doorway. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. That's very neat. And where are they found? These are found in uh, southeastern United States, southwestern United States. You don't uh, know what you're talking I do. about. I do. I do. <laughs> just, he's just making up places now. Asia or Africa, whatever you want, as long as I'm on TV. <laughs> Everybody, sorry. Thank you. Sorry. Whoa! Kaita! Multi Nida! All right, uh, that's a nice snack for you later on. Yeah, let's go. Let's have the bird one more time. Uh, Clyde Peeling, everybody. Jordana Brewster's coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Ho, team!